Okay, so I uh, took the oil pan off and found that the uh, bearings were shot. There's a lot of play, a lot of slack in them. And uh, it wasn't typical signs of just bearings going, so I'm thinking that the oil pump may have failed. Also, the uh, timing in this thing, the timing chain, uh, I believe it's time to change that. Um, so we're gonna just, you know, like I said, we're gonna rebuild this whole, whole engine, and uh, you know, as long as it's sound internally, it's okay. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, backing plate off these pump gears and see if maybe the gears busted on it. Um, I don't know. Um, I believe the oil pump had something with these bearings spinning on me. So we're going to check and take this pump cover off and see. Or the backing plate, I should say. And see what the gears look like in here. You need to be careful with these. These are not. <laughs> don't take much to screw these up. Make sure you're using a fairly good screwdriver. I can go through and just loosen them all up. Like I said they're they're in there kind of good, but it won't take much to ruin them either. So just be careful. Not easy doing this one handed. Let's set this thing down. Okay. I've got them all busted loose. Go through and pull them back out. Uh, as I said, these gears typically bust in about four different places to cause oil failure. But we're gonna we're gonna check and see. So like I said, the uh, bearings didn't look like typical signs of wear. It looked like uh, they just lost all pressure, and then that's what spun the bearings. But we're gonna find out. And I checked the pickup screen when I took the pan off, and it uh, I could blow through it pretty freely. It, it wasn't clogged. I mean, it was nasty, but it wasn't clogged. So we're gonna check here. And these things, everything on this thing being aluminum, it didn't take much to completely ruin the engine. But nine times out of ten, the people just think they're automatically ruined because of a failure. And that's not always the case, and that's, that's what I'm doing with this engine. I'm gonna show you about what to look for and and, uh, you know, what signs of major trauma the engine has to not even mess with. Now we'll get this figured out here. And I'm pretty sure this one's rebuildable. Okay, I'm going to pull all these out. I'll probably replace these when I rebuild it because these aren't, aren't good at all. Maybe use a brass. Okay. So we let loose. Okay. Clean up a little bit here. You know? I don't see. I don't see any cracks on here. Okay, I think oil pump gears are, I mean, they're good, but 
And since I got this thing tore apart, I may as well just redo them anyway. But it looks like that wasn't the problem. And just, uh, I guess the bearings just went out on me. Which I don't guess is, I mean, we have 163,000 on this thing, so it's, I mean, I guess I'm lucky I made it past 120, but it's like it's, uh, looks like the pump's good. But that's what you want to look for on on this outside gear here. It's usually the one that'll break. It'll break in about four different pre uh, four different pieces. But I mean the way they break, most of the time it, it'll still, you know, keep everything in line and keep them running. You just oil pressure will be low. But that's generally where you look at and. Said this one, where? Whoop! Is that a break right there? Let's see. It's, okay, now that's just a drain slot. We're good. That's what you look for.